delivering quality education, expanding access to learning. TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Deaf and TV Banner. Good day, great for awesome learners. I am Teacher Kenneth. Join me in this interesting episode in the world of English. Are you all excited for another fun and wonderful learning? Great! Before we proceed with today's lesson, let us check if you already have your pen, notebook, and learning module. Great! Come on! And let's start! Welcome to English 4, Module 5 for the 4th quarter. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to distinguish among types of journalistic writing and give the definition of news report, opinion article, feature article, and sports news article. Now, are you up for an activity, kids? Perfect! Check this out and see how much you have learned previously. Read the statement below and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. I will give you 5 seconds to write your answer. Number 1. It is the most important aspect in journalism. Letter A, journalism. Letter B, journalists. Letter C, news. And letter D, freedom of expression. Timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer, kids? Great. The correct answer is letter D, freedom of expression. Number two, it is through various types of media. Letter A, journalism. Letter B, journalists. Letter C, news. And letter D, reporting. Timer starts now. Time's up. Your answer is... Perfect! It is letter D, reporting. Number three, it is the act of investigating facts, gathering, and reporting information to the public. A, journalism. B, journalists. C, news. D, reporting. Timer starts now. Time's up! What is your answer? Wow! You are correct! The correct answer is letter A. Journalism. Number four, do the interviewing, examining, documenting, researching, and investigating before reporting the news. A. Journalism. B. Journalists. C. News. D. Reporting. Timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? Amazing. The correct answer is letter B. Journalist. Number five. It is timely, accurate, and factual expression. Letter A. Journalism. Letter B. Journalists, letter C, news, 
and letter D, reporting. Timer starts now. Time's up! Your answer is... Correct! It is letter C, news. Kids, you are indeed an excellent learners. Are you up for another activity, kids? Wow! I know you are very much ready for another activity for us to know if you already know our lesson for this day. Let us try. Put check on the blank if it does and X if it does not. You will be given 5 seconds to answer the question. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Take photos of an event. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is check. Good job, kids. Number two, gather and present evidences. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is check. Excellent, kids. Number three, write using appropriate information. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is check. Excellent, kids. Number four, Conduct election of officers in school. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is X. Good job, kids. Number five. Express point of views and opinions without being biased. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is check. Excellent, kids. Number six, publish timely and appropriate news to inform the people. Your timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is check. Good job, kids. Number 7. Lead the fundraising activities of school clubs. Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is X. Excellent, kids! Number 8. Ignite other organizations to form protests. Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is X. Good job, kids! Number 9. Conduct, interview, and take note facts. Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is check! Excellent, kids! Number 10. Exercise freedom of expression. Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is check! Excellent, kids! That's awesome! You got them right! Since you are now refreshed with the roles of campus journalists, it means you are now ready to proceed. Journalism helps to explain the events that impact our lives and develops in several forms and styles and uses different techniques for different purposes and audiences. Here are some of the basic types of journalistic writing. 
study and learn news writing as a beginner it is important for you to know the basics on news writing news articles are objective and do not include writer's opinion or ideas hard news is more direct and straightforward and removes the drama from the story as news is delivered as bare facts a story is newsworthy if it has the following elements timeliness impact proximity prominence currency oddity and controversy number one timeliness it talks about recent and fresh information something that just happened is likely more interesting than things that happened last week or last year number two impact writers should look if many people are affected or only a few this is about the consequence importance of an event and significance the number of people involved in or affected by an event as well as the emotional depth of an audience's reaction helps determine whether it is news number three proximity refers to the closeness of the event to readers and listeners it talks on physical and psychological closeness number four prominence ordinary activities or mishaps become news if it involves prominent persons like the president governor mayor or an actor number five currency this answer questions like are people thinking about this issue is this trending number six oddity talks about issue that is unusual the extraordinary and the unexpected appeal to our natural human curiosity inverted pyramid is often used in hard news this means that the most important information goes at the beginning of the article. The structure is a summary lead that gives the focus followed by supporting points in descending order of importance. And here's the example of a news article. Example of a news article government to start vaccinating essential workers indigents after me the government is expanding the vaccination priority group to the a4 and a5 clusters vaccine cesar carlito galvez jr said on tuesday the a4 group covers essential workers frontliners in national government offices and uniformed personnel while the A5 cluster includes the indigent sector. The official said the vaccination of A4 and A5 will start after this month or once the supply stabilizers stabilizes. The official said the vaccination of A4 and A5 will start after this month or once the supply stabilizes. During the meeting of key pandemic response officials with President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday, Galvez suggested opening the COVID-19 vaccination to A4 and A5 to ensure that no vaccines go to waste. The vaccine says are clarified that the soon-to-expire AstraZeneca vaccines cannot be used on the A4 group since it came from COVAX a global initiative aiming for equitable vaccine access. Vaccines from COVAX can only be used by A1, healthcare workers, A2 for seniors, A3, people with comorbidities, and A5 groups. Doses procured by the government will be used by A1 to A4 groups. Number two, Feature writing. Features are factual stories that are not hard news but are instead a more personal report about a person, event, or aspect of a major event. It may or may not be tied to a current event, 
It is written to hook the reader and draw him or her into the story. Features are longer, more detailed, less timely. Interviews and in-depth articles fit into this category. The stories give readers information, but in an entertaining, pleasing format that highlights an issue by describing the people, places, and ideas that shape it. It's a branch of writing which employs creative techniques and artistic vision usually associated with fiction to report on actual persons, places, or events. Feature writing uses specific nouns, adjectives, strong verbs, and poetic elements to create vivid images and mental pictures that appeal to the readers. It is intended to give readers more descriptions and details. Its functions are to humanize, add color, educate, entertain, and illuminate. What constitutes good quality features? A. Unity Oneness of ideas B. Coherence Meaning systematic or logical connection or consistency Letter C, we have emphasis, value, or prominence given to something. Kinds of feature articles. One, we have informative or trend stories, human interest, personality sketch, travelogue, how-to or practical guidance, humor or satire, Personal essay, inspirational feature, historical feature. And here's the example of a feature article. Be One of Us by Megan Louise Millian. Time is as precious as life and it's the greatest gift we can give to our loved ones. Sharing our time is like giving portion of our life. Hence, People wasting time are wasting their lives. Time management is very important. The most punctual and most honest awardees immediately become advocate to their peers. I don't want to miss my target. I want to be always number one on our logbook, exclaimed Patrick Solis, a grade 6 student and a recipient of Good Character Award for being punctual. Last Friday, I found a cell phone while playing on the ground and I immediately returned it to the principal's office. Sir Jose Israel Revla, assistant principal, announced the lost and found gadget then. The owner claimed it and extended his gratitude. I felt proud and so happy of my good deed, said Giancarlo Sato, a grade 3 role student and a recipient of Most Honest Award during the October monthly recognition. The impact of the program contributed a lot to the best performance of the learners and the teachers as well as classes started on time. Students develop truthfulness and becomes more time conscious. Said Jeremiah Lumapas, we advocate time consciousness and honesty watch club president. He added tips on how to beat time and be punctual. First, you have to be ready at night. Prepare all the things you need including the clothes you're going to wear. Next, make a to-do list of the things that you're going to make the next day. And finally, sleep early to wake up early. Be one of us. He ended. Number three, editorial writing. An editorial is an article that presents the newspaper's opinion on an issue. It reflects the majority vote of the editorial board, the governing body of the newspaper. It builds on an argument and tries to persuade readers to think the same way they do. Editorials are meant to influence public opinion, promote critical thinking, and sometimes cause people to take action on an issue. In the context of campus journalism, number one, Editorials seek to reflect the paper's pro-student orientation. Number two, 
editorial seek to provide analysis of issues from the student's point of view. Number three, editorial seek to discuss both national and local campus concerns. Types of editorials. Number one, interpretive. Editorial explains something for the reader, a rule or policy, and then gives an opinion. In school context, this may explain new school rules or a particular student body effort. Number two, persuasive. Editorials of persuasion aim to immediately see the solution, not the problem. From the first paragraph, readers will be encouraged to take specific positive action. Number three, criticize editorials constructively criticize actions, decisions, or situations while providing solutions to the problem identified. Immediate purpose is to get readers to see the problem, not the solution. Number four, praise. Editorials commend people and organizations for something done well. They are not as common as the other three. Basic structure of an editorial starts with introduction followed by analysis, then conclusion. Introduction is a one-liner gist of argument that should catch the reader's attention. The analysis is a clear presentation of arguments supporting the stand reflected in the introduction. Finally, the conclusion is summing up and must include specific calls to action whenever possible. And here's an example of editorial article. Example of an editorial, On Call, Noise and I, by Hannah Sophia L. Pasquito. Our school located at the heart of Tagum City, surrounded by main roads, is exposed to different kinds of environmental factors that may affect children's learning. One such is the presence of vehicles roaming around the school's perimeter ranging from motorcycles, tricycles, private cars, ambulances, fire trucks, and the like that bring about noise and disturbances. Nowadays, Many schools are situated near busy places such as city, shop, and residential areas. This occurs because of limited places to build the school and the rapid development of the community. Aren't schools need to be located in a quiet environment wherein learning is conducted? Noise pollution in environment disturbs the activities in schools such as studying, discussing, listening, and teaching sessions. The rate of the noise pollution in Magugpo Pilot Central Elementary School is very alarming. In a study conducted in UK 2002, road traffic noise has been found to cause dissatisfaction with the classroom environment among teachers. According to Lucas, it was found that exposure to traffic noise had a detrimental effect on children's reading ability. More recently, tests in both primary and secondary schools exposed to noise from road traffic have found that noise has a detrimental effect on the children's attention. The research is the best direct evidence yet that noise impact on learning and learning and long time memory. Moreover, what does street noise bring to our kids in school? In an interview, Mark Joshua A. Ihalas, whose classroom is located near the highway, said that the noise from the vehicles always catch his attention and distract him from listening to the teacher. Accordingly, Teachers confirm that it really affects students as they are easily disrupted with environmental noises. Mrs. Rosemary Camina, a fifth grade advisor whose classroom is near the school gate, mentioned that some of her students find out difficult to concentrate on their class activities. She furthered that the learners keep on looking outside, especially when they hear commotion coming from the street. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Alan Briones, a tricycle driver, commented that he knows his vehicle disturbs other people but says he can't do much about it because driving a tricycle is his source of income to support his family's needs. A research in London 2007 confirms these observations with its findings that recent years' evidence has been found to suggest that noise affects letter, number, and word recognition. This is very important matter that authorities and stakeholders should take into account and if possible to lessen if not to eradicate noise pollution problem before it's too late. The problem that we are facing with this inescapable noise is distressing. The dilemma needs to be addressed. The students are the future makers and molders of this country. Hence, the society needs to invest in students' learning to raise the quality of education. Number four, sports writing. Sports is simply the action that describes winners and losers and sports writer's job is to capture that moment between winning and losing and the drama of the heroes behind it. A sports article can be news, feature, or editorial. In newspaper, common are features on athletes, interviews, how-to articles, sports editorials, and recaps of contests. The three elements of a sports lead, outcome, importance of the game, and spectacular part of the game. Tips Number one, identify the sports events in ball games, combat sports, measurable sports, and subjective sports. Number two, know how these sports games are played and how the rules are applied. Number three, Start collecting sample articles of these sports event, ball games, combat, measurable, and subjective sports. Number four, study and use sports lingos. Number five, learn when to use the right verb. Number six, learn to gather statistics, master the elements of news gathering, the five W's and how. Number seven, Carefully organize your facts into a lead. Rank their importance. Use first the who, what, why, where, when format. Number eight, after the writing of your lead, write an appropriate headline. In today's sports headline writing, there are two important elements. Letter A, describe the outcome or win. And letter B, emphasize the importance of the outcome or win. Number nine, carefully connect the headline and the lead with the next supporting paragraph. If it's a close game, then always start your sports story with the most important part of the game and the highlights following before or after it. Number ten, sustain the remaining paragraphs after the lead and the next important supporting paragraph. And here's the example of a sports article. Example of a sports article Centralian Tankers Bag Medals in Fundraising Swim Fest by Rosel Humangit. To support the victims in the Marawi siege, Centralians joined the 50th Araw ng Davao del Norte LGU swimming competition held in Davao del Norte Sports Complex last June 10. According to the Provincial Sports Coordinator Giovanni Aigolanes, the said program was conducted to raise funds in helping the victims of Marawi City and at the same time to showcase the talents of young athletes not only in the field they excel but also in extending their blessings to others. Different cities coming from Maramag, Kidapawan, Davao City, Jensan, Midsayap, Bukidnon, Davao del Norte, Tagum, and Surigao participated in the said competition. Hopefully, we can have this kind of activity again next year so that our athletes may continue to share their blessings and that sport is an avenue to help others, Gulanes added. Athletes headed by Romel Gerard Cucharo proved 
that they are not only best in sports but also compassionate in extending support to the needy. It is delightful feeling that you don't only compete in front of the crowd but at the same time you help other people who are in the state of deprivation, Cocharo said. Meanwhile, Cocharo bagged gold in 100 backstrokes and breaststroke and Almari Guinet La Rosa in 100, 200, and 400 freestyle and 200 backstroke. Moreover, Almari Batad got silver in 100 and 200 freestyle, Cyril Vergara for 200 backstroke, Aliya Resabo in 100 butterfly and 400 freestyle, and bronze medal for Clarice Jean Bulair in 100 and 200 backstroke. Now that you already know about journalistic writing, let us do this activity. Read the story and answer the following questions. You will be given 5 seconds to answer the question. Direction. Analyze and answer each question properly. Write the letter of the correct answer on the answer sheet. Number 1. What type of journalistic writing uses inverted pyramid format and deliver bare facts to the readers? A. News writing B. Feature writing C. Editorial writing Letter D. Science and technology writing Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is A. News writing. Good job, kids! Number two, it describes winners and losers. Further, it documents the moment between winning and losing the drama of the heroes behind. A. Desktop publishing. B. Photojournalism. C. Feature writing. Letter D. Sports writing. Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is letter D, sports writing. Excellent, kids! Number three, this type of journalistic writing meant to influence public opinion, promote critical thinking, and sometimes cause people to take action on an issue. A news writing b feature writing c editorial writing d editorial cartooning your timer starts now time is up and the correct answer is c editorial writing good job kids number four this gave readers information but in an entertaining, pleasing format that highlights an issue by describing the people, places, and ideas that shape it. A. News writing B. Feature writing C. Editorial writing or Letter D. Editorial cartooning Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is B. Picture writing. Good job, kids! Number 5. The type of editorial that aims to immediately see the solution, not the problem, and from the first paragraph, readers will be encouraged to take specific positive action. A. Interpretive. B. Persuasive. C. Criticize or letter D, praise. Your timer starts now. Time is up and the correct answer is B, persuasive. Excellent, kids. Wow! Good job, kids! You really learned a lot from our lesson today. Did you enjoy all the activities, kids? Perfect! I am glad to know that. Now, 
Let's have a short recap with our lesson for today. Kids, let us remember that journalistic writing is composed of news writing, feature writing, editorial writing, and sports writing, and use first the who, what, why, where, when format. Now, it is time to try the fruit of your journey by answering the assessment below. Read each item carefully and distinguish what type of journalistic writing does each lead belong. Write your answer on your notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer the question. Let's start. Number 1. Magugpo Pilot Central Elementary School Dance Sport Team shines as they bring home 5 gold medals, 4 silver medals, and 2 bronze medals at the recently concluded Batang Pinoy 2015 held on October 25, 2015 at Coronadal City. A. Sports B. Feature C. Editorial D. News Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is A. Sports Awesome, kids! Number 2 Smiling and charming yet shy, Hannah Sophia, a 9-year-old grade 4 Heron student, is such an extraordinary learner. She is a star that shines within. Only a few know that she is a walking inspiration, a hope, a fighter of life over death. A fervent one. A. Editorial. B. Feature. C. News. D. SciTech. Your timer starts now. Time is up, and the correct answer is B. Feature. Good job, kids. Number three. The school's eight-year advocacy on developing time-conscious and honesty students is highly commendable since students' moral values are developed that shape the characters of future leaders. A. Editorial B. Column C. News D. SciTech Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is A. Editorial Good job, kids! Number 4 Parents, students, and teachers participated hand-in-hand in, hand in creating 100 personalized reading materials in the school to address the insufficient availability of books in the newly built school library. A. Sports B. Feature C. Editorial D. News Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is D. News Excellent, kids! Number 5 Magugpo Pilot Central Elementary School Supreme Pupils Government Together with their teacher advisors, organize an outreach activity called Building Community of Readers to help 40 identified children recipient at Maxima Village, Tagum City just recently. A. News B. Sports C. Feature D. Editorial Your timer starts now. Time is up! And the correct answer is A. News Good job, kids! Were you able to write your answer, kids? Wow! That's awesome! I hope you had a great time learning with me. Hope that you can answer all the activities on your module with great joy and excitement. Always remember, According to Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Once again, this is Teacher Kenneth, your English teacher. 
Thank you so much, kids. Have a great day. Keep safe always and goodbye. Manood at makinig sa pag-aaral na